<laughs> I'm sorry, people. I always start off with a, a big smile. And um, no matter what, even if I'm going to be serious, I'm going to be happy in the video. Um, I just think about, sorry, I think about happiness all the time. I think about feeling great. And what I want the most in my life is peace. I want peace. I don't want to bring people drama. I don't want to bring you pain. I want you to feel fantastic. So that's just what my focus is. Now I can talk about all type of things. I talk about things that I find to be silly. <laughs> I love the emotions of people because we all feel things. However, it's amazing to me how many people don't want to control their emotions. They want to let it run, run wild. And how many people project how they feel on other people. I try my best not to do that. I'm always trying to understand where you're coming from. We all have different life experiences. We all feel a certain type of way. We all do certain things. So when I interact with people, I'm trying to understand what their perspective is, how they view life, what is important to them and what is not. And I never try to assume that people know what is important to me because I think that most people put themselves first as you should. No one should be more important than you. Nobody should be more special to you than you. Now, you can love humanity. I think humanity is excellent. And the, the fact that we exist makes me just feel joy. I don't know what your belief is. I don't know if you believe in a supreme being, a God or what. But if you do, then you know that you are special because you're uniquely you and there can never be another you. So when I interact with people and I hear their pain, I feel sad for them. And the reason I feel sad is because so many people assume that you don't care. <laughs> and I, truthfully, I do care, but I don't. <laughs> what I mean by that is I want to see you happy. I never want to see you in pain, but I don't care enough to stop living my life for you. I have some type of altruism sometimes, but I'm not altruistic enough to care like most people will want you to care. I have things to do. My time is precious and I don't have a lot of time to give the people because I got things I want to do. Um, just like on YouTube, I don't expect like anyone to frequent my page on a regular basis. I hope that people want to come check out and hear what I'm saying. I hope that I'm motivational and I hope that I'm in inspiring. However, I know that people are doing their own thing. A lot of people are not just consumers of content. They create their own content. So if they come and check me out, you know, most of the time I can't say uh, they, they want you to check them out. And I try to check out people because I want people to... <laughs> makes money and that's what most people are on youtube for for me it's not necessarily that i'm not saying i don't want to make money of course pay the, the google youtube gods alphabet pay me i'm worth it but if you don't want to pay me um if you don't you know you want to check me out it matters not i just feel good doing i put my spirit out in the universe and if you want to know who i am then check me out i do have um what you call I got critiques, I got criticisms, but I have nothing really negative to say about you. I want you to win. I may not agree with what you say. And unlike most people, I've heard somebody say it's crazy. We can agree to disagree because you don't have to see it my way. You can say, Charles, you're an idiot. I don't like anything you're saying. Your existence shouldn't, your, your existence is futile. <laughs> You know, <laughs> like resistance is futile. My existence is futile. And I know it can be like that for, for some people because they despise who I am. But me, all I can tell you is that if you exist and you're not causing me pain, I love you. I love that you exist. I want you to have a great day and you don't owe me anything. Um, well, I, let me say this. Hopefully you will show me respect, but you don't owe me that. But I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to always show you respect. Now, I'm going to make another statement because now I feel like flowing. Uh, respect and disrespect is subjective. I don't assume you know what is respectful to me. So I must establish that I don't like this and that. And if you do this to me, I find it to be disrespectful. Just like when people use certain terms or certain words. I don't like certain words. But to them, it's commonplace. It's colloquial. They use it all the time. So go ahead and use it. I just don't want to partake in that type of language because it doesn't suit me. Now, I have my own... Uh, code of ethics, you know, code of how things should do, how, how I should say things. So in certain circumstances, in certain environments, I will say different things. However, when I'm speaking to people publicly like this, where anyone can hear what I'm going to say, I'm more cognizant of the words that are coming out of my mouth. And in no means or in no way am I perfect. I make mistakes all the time. I fumble over my words. Um, I can retract the statement. I can use a word improperly, even if I know the proper definition, because I think it's funny. You know, I just think I said definition funny. Corey Wine didn't hear it. So anyway, my whole thing is when I interact with people, 
All I want people to do is feel great. That's it. I don't want to bring you pain. I want you to feel loved, even if you don't know it. Um, love doesn't have to be reciprocal, just like friendship doesn't have to be. I can be your friend, and you don't have to be mine. There's people that, every time I come on YouTube, there's people that I, I love their commentary. I want to hear their critique or what they have to say about whatever, because I find their dialogue interesting. You know, I like when people... I don't know, some people enjoy trashing people. <laughs> I don't. But if you provoke me, <laughs> the wrath of the Chuck can come for you. So don't don't think that I'm oblivious to using these words to destroy you. <laughs> I'm joking. But I I really don't want to do that. That's not really who I am. Um, I I just I enjoy listening to people I don't agree with, people I do agree with, because that's how you learn. I want to see it from your point of view. You know, it's always a point of view, but <laughs> from a different point of view. <laughs> that's a Star Wars reference, right? They haven't got a book now about Empire Strike Back from a different point of view. I need to read it. But anyway, I've said a lot of nothing, but there may be some substance to my nothing. I don't, I don't know what type of substance it is. Hopefully it's not a sticky kind. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sorry, people. I'm a little bit perverted. <laughs> my brain goes left. I try to stay right. I go left. I'm like, yay. So you want to do that, do you? <laughs> anyway, I just hope people feel great. Everything for me is to bring uh, pleasure to you and truthfully i'm laughing a lot but i'm extremely serious when i'm speaking right now because that's how i feel you may not believe me you may think that uh, that dude can't really be as happy as he is well i'm pretty much always happy i like looking at myself i like looking at other people i like to eat a nice juicy steak i had uh, two ribeye steaks and uh, some cauliflower with cheese <laughs> it was delicious i usually eat more than that but um i'm trying to go hungry you know like like I'm usually to eat to a fool. I love it. But sometimes I don't feel like cooking. <laughs> it takes some time. I got and I got clean up after I'm cooking. Eh, you know, it's a lot of work sometimes. And I you know, if you work a lot, let's say you put in a uh, earning some wage and you work twelve or fourteen hours a day, you don't really feel like spending two hours preparing a meal. And <laughs> I just don't, you know? And then I gotta clean up. Oh, that's the the problem with me. Time is precious from a certain point of view. But one thing I will say, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. So you have to figure out how to use your 24 hours efficiently. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still working on it because there's so many things I love to do. That's why I'm never bored. I want to read this book. I want to watch this movie. I want to play these video games. <laughs> I want to play all types of stuff. I want to do all types of stuff. I want to touch all types of stuff. But I don't have time to do it. I want to buy all these shoes. And uh, <laughs> honestly, I got an obsession with shoes and all these te technology. And I'm so happy I lost one of my Pixel Buds. And I just found it, but it got washed. So hopefully it'll work. And I don't want I, I enjoy the buds so much that I might buy another one. I, hopefully, it, I'm going to give it a day. I'm going to let it dry out. And I'm going to try to charge it up. And hopefully, let's pray pray for me, people. <laughs> Put the spirit in it. Hopefully, they will start working. And I can listen to my Google Pixel Buds 2 again because they are excellent. They keep doing software updates. And the software updates makes the bugs the bugs that the buds used to have. That's not the bugs. The bugs that the buds used to have, um, they seem to disappear. So, truthfully, they are my favorite pair of headphones and also i liked using uh the bose quiet comfort 700 whatever it is the bose 700 i don't know what the name of it, the buds i think they're the bose 700 but i almost got the sony m4s over the bose 700 but i got the bose because they said the microphone uh was better and i end up having conversations with people and i, I don't like what people say i can't hear what you're saying so um, so I got the bowls and plus then people can't talk to me because I don't know, even though I'm talking now, even though I'm running my mouth <laughs> from a certain point of view, <laughs> I don't think I always enjoy talking to everyone because people just make idle chit chat, not saying anything. And I want you to say something. It has, it has to be a question, you know, but don't make it something that you already know. Like, it sure is hot outside. I'd be like, yes, you can Google that or ask Alexa, you know, you don't have to ask me that or make a statement about it. But if you ask me what I, what do I think about the weather? Now that changes the thing. I would say, hmm, <laughs> we have peculiar weather. One day it's hot, one day it's cold, and it, it's hard to predict. And I like to be prepared. So if it's cold outside, I dress warm. <laughs> and when it's warm outside, I'm in some shorts and the flip flops because I'm a flip flopper. <laughs> and I can also flippity flop, flippity flop in my conversation like I see other people doing. They flippity flop in their conversation. Now, this is what I'll say before I end this. Hopefully, you've seen this from a, a certain point of view <laughs> that uh, we all see things differently. Some people feel that they need to get on here and, and <laughs> talk bad about others to get you to pay attention to them. 
Me, I don't do that. Hopefully, you know, I'm not saying I haven't ever said something bad about people. I've done it. Sometimes I don't understand where people are coming from. I don't understand your motivation. I don't understand how you see things. But this is what I will say. We're all trying to figure it out. And everybody wants to be special. I get that. However, there, I don't know anyone who has a perfect paradigm of life who wasn't a, a deity. That's what I'm going to say. So if you're just a regular person, I've never met a regular person who had the perfect life. Maybe you had your perfect life. I think my life is perfect for me, but there are things I would change. So is it really perfect? <laughs> I'm thinking I'm on the path that I'm on because this is where the path has placed me. And I'm trying to get to the better path, the golden path, <laughs> the lead to Atreides path. If, you know, the one that Paul didn't take, the golden path. And a lot of you are like, what is he talking about? Well, I will say this. Read Frank Herbert Dune. Uh, the movie is going to come out sometime. Who knows when? You know, with all this uh, situation caused by the global calamity. <laughs> the words, like I want to use certain words, but sometimes I don't want to use certain words because I don't want people not to listen to what I'm saying. So let me end this. I've said a lot. It's time for me to say goodbye to all my little friends. C H U C K. Why? Chucky, yes, that's me. <laughs> <laughs>